Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Rika Kasubana from the Electronics Engineering Department of the Sal University Das Marinas, specifically ECE41. And for today's experiment for our IoT laboratory or Internet of Things lab, we'll be having our experiment number seven, which will be dealing with our traffic light system. So this is submitted to Engineer Emmanuel Longares, our IoT laboratory professor. So for our objectives for this experiment, first one is we will be creating a code to control a series of LED using Raspberry Pi that will serve as one uh, that will serve as one or two-way traffic light system that we will be showing uh, later on with our experiment. Then for the next one, we will be using the concept of blinking LED and a push button to create a circuit using Raspberry Pi that will serve as one-way traffic light system with pedestrian control button that will enable pedestrian to uh, cross the lane safely. Okay. So for our procedure, we'll be constructing the circuit as shown in figure one. So as, as shown in this, so we'll be needing a serial monitor or a television that will serve as our monitor, as well as the three resistors connecting wires, our Raspi 4 and our USB connectors and adapters as well, and our three LEDs. So it will be better if it will be three colors, um, three colors resembling the three colors of the traffic light system, which is red for the stop uh, indicator, okay, yellow for for the middle indicator, just like what we are seeing in the traffic light system, and green for the go indicator. Okay, so we'll be imitating the traffic light system we see on our crossroads. So for the second procedure, we'll be loading the given source code shown below in our Raspi. So we'll be explaining the code later on, okay, the logic behind that. And after that, uh, we'll be answering this question, okay? We'll be answering this question, does the given source code works properly as traffic light system? So our answer will be yes. So we'll be proving it in the experiment later on. So here is the given source code for the first part of this experiment which is to create a one-way traffic light system. So the first line of the code is from GPIO0 import traffic lights is the general purpose input output pins which will be the term or the variable traffic lights. Then the from time import slip is the interval or the time duration that the LED will turn on. So here lights equal traffic lights 2, 3, 4. As we can see here that we declared the variable traffic lights for the output 2, 3, 4 which is the pin configuration in our Raspberry Pi. Then the first one lights green on while true. So the LED which is the green one will turn on for 10 seconds then lights green off then it will turn off then the orange will turn on for one second then it will turn off then lights red on which will turn on the red or stop for 10 seconds then lights amber on for one second then proceed to green then the orange and the red will turn off so here is the source code that we will be using for the first part of this experiment which is the one-way traffic light system. So here is the source code that we explained a while ago but it is in the Tony Raspberry Pi um, application. So here is the code that we will be using in order to have a one-way traffic light system with a 10 second delay for the go and stop 
of the traffic light while one second delay is for the orange which is the warning of the traffic light. So here is the circuit diagram for a one-way traffic light system. So we're gonna use a Raspberry Pi, then the three LEDs for the go, warning, and stop indicator of the traffic light. Here is the actual circuit of the one-way traffic light system. Um, so uh, the application here is to create a one-way one -way traffic light system using Raspberry Pi. So here is the uh, Raspberry Pi with pin configurations 2, 3, and 4. And uh, pin 5 is connected to the ground. So as we can see here that the... LED are the indicators for the traffic light system. So the green light will light up for uh, 10 seconds, which is the go. Then after that, it will proceed to the orange LED, which means um, the warning for one second. Then proceed to red one, which is stop for another 10 seconds. So this is the one-way traffic light system of part one of this experiment. So now let's proceed to the part two. So for our procedure number three, we'll be loading the Pi alternative source code for the traffic light system to test if there are possible and alternative codes that will provide the same result with our procedure number one. So we'll be explaining the logic behind this code later on in our video experiment. In the part two is also a one-way traffic light system, but uses alternative code or program in order to run the circuit. So as we can see here that we have in the line 1 from GPIO 0 import traffic lights. So it will be the um, declared variable wherein we will be having a traffic lights pin configuration. Then from time import slip is the interval or delay of the LED to light up. Then from signal import pause as we can see at the Last line for the code is the pause command. Then lights equal traffic lights 2, 3, 4 is the pin configuration used in the Raspberry Pi. So as we can see here, the following sequence for the traffic light, which is while true, yield 001, the green light will turn on for 10 seconds. Yield 010, the orange or amber light will turn on for one second, then yield 100, the red or stop will light up for 10 seconds. Then yield 110, the red and amber will light up for one second. So here is the code that we will be using for the part two of this experiment. So here is the source code when it is written on the Tony Raspberry Pi. So the program will create a one-way traffic light system that will have a 10 second delay for the go, which is the green light, then one second delay for the warning, which is the orange LED, then another 10 second for stop, which is the red LED. So now let's try to run the circuit. Then proceed to the circuit application. So here is the circuit diagram for a one-way traffic light system. So we're gonna use a Raspberry Pi, then the three LEDs for the go, warning, and stop indicator of the traffic light.
So here is the one-way traffic light application using different or alternative source code. So we use a uh, Raspberry Pi with the same pin configurations for the first part of this experiment, uh, which is the pins 2, 3, and 4. And then the pin 5 is connected to the ground. So as we can see here is the application. So the LED or the green, which is the go, will light up for 10 seconds. Then after that, we'll proceed to the orange, which will be the warning for 1 second. Then proceed to red, which is stop for another 10 seconds. Then after that, uh, it will proceed to the orange, then to the green. So here is the part 2 of this experiment. So now let's proceed to the part 3 of the experiment. So for our observations, does the given source code works the same in the given code in procedure number 2? And our answer will be yes, and we'll be proving it later on in our experiment. So for our exercises and for our additional challenge, we'll be creating a two-way traffic light system, okay? meaning there are series of traffic lights on the on the two ends of our crossroads, just like what we are seeing in our highways, okay? When there are a lot of cross, crossroads in the streets. Then for the second one, we'll be creating a one-way traffic light system with pedestrian button control, which will allow pedestrian to uh, cross safely our crossroads, okay? This will promote innovation among the traffic light system, okay? to avoid, let's say, malfunction of our traffic light system. So, so now we'll be proceeding with our experiment proper. So for the part three of this experiment is a two-way traffic light system. So here is the code which is in Tony Raspberry Pi. So import RP1GPIO as GPIO. Then from time import slip. So this one is the interval or the time duration of the LED. Then GPIO set mode. Then GPIO set warning set to false. So here in set 7 or line 7 is the first traffic light system. So here is the pin configuration that we use, which is pins 2, 3, 4 for the first traffic light and pins 17, 27, and 22 for the second traffic light. So we declare it as an output. So here is the traffic light sequence that we will be using which is GPIO set GPIO output then the pin and then the ones and zero which is which means that one is for on then zero is for off So here is the slip command that we will be using which is the time for the LED to light up so now let's proceed to circuit application. So for the part 3 of Internet of Things laboratory experiment is the use of two-way traffic light system which uses two traffic lights which is traffic light 1 and traffic light 2. So here is the Raspberry Pi circuit so the only difference is that um, we use two traffic lights in this part so for the code I know rather the circuit uh, we use the pins 234 and 17 27 22 of the Raspberry Pi so whenever the traffic light 1 is go the traffic light 2 is hot stop then um, it stays there for about 10 seconds then another 10 seconds when uh, 
the orange or the warning light is toggling so as we can see here that it moves vice versa so here is the third part of this experiment So for the last part of this experiment is to create a one-way traffic light system with pedestrian button control. So as we can see, um, here is the code in Tony Raspberry Pi that we will be using. So the expected um, output for the code is that once we press the push button, the green light will toggle for two for two times or will blink two times then it will proceed to the orange for one second then red for 10 seconds so the the blinking system of the green light will indicate the drivers that a pedestrian will cross the street so that is the um, instruction that is within the program. So now let's proceed to the construction of the circuit. So here is the circuit. We use a uh, Raspberry Pi and the LEDs for a one-way traffic light system with pedestrian control button. So we use pins 2, 3, 4 as an output for the LED while pin 17 of the Raspberry Pi is used as an input for the button which is then connected to the ground. So the green light will toggle once we press the push button. It will blink 2 times. So as we can see here that it will blink 2 times then um, after that um, it will proceed to the orange which is the warning for one second then proceed to red which is stop for another 10 seconds so it means that once the pedestrian press the button it will indicate the drivers that um, the traffic light would come to a stop then the pedestrian will now able to cross the street. So here is the application for the one-way traffic light system with pedestrian control button. So this is the experiment 7 traffic light system in Internet of Things laboratory. Now, after seeing all of the applications of our traffic light system using our Raspberry Pi 4, which is a one-way traffic, a one-way traffic light system, okay, as well as a two-way traffic light system, which, uh, which provides a more complexity to the current traffic light system that we are having on our highways, as well as a traffic light system with a push button which will allow the pedestrians to control our traffic light, which will allow them to safely cross the streets or the highways, will be having our conclusion. So for our conclusion, the Raspberry Pi is, perfect, is a perfect device for adopted technology, such as that of the traffic light system, which allows us to build okay, which allows us to build innovations such as prototyping embedded systems. So this experiment only proves that it is possible to build complex and effective systems using our Raspberry Pi 4. So again, my name is Rico Meca Sabrena from DLSUDECE with my groupmate Jose Alvaro from ECE41. And that's for our experiment number 7. I hope you learned a lot for our experiment today. And I hope I will be seeing you on our next vlog. See you soon. Bye for now.